finally made it to Kilfis Yarvi, a Finnish village where Lafland meets the Arctic Circle and where I'll be attempting to tick off every single item on the bucket list that you guys helped me create last week. I'll put it up right here so you can see exactly what the stakes are right now. I've got four days here and I'm super excited to be visiting Finland and later Norway for the first time ever, but even more excited to have Andrea with me, who is a friend that I've been traveling with for the past 10 years. So together we're gonna attempt to do all of these activities and I'm sure we'll have an absolutely epic time and I'll film the adventures along the way. Stick around to see if I survive my first ever snowmobile ride in sub-freezing temperature, what a luxury hotel in the Arctic looks like, and a surprise activity that I'll be taking off today. Let's go. As we drove to the snowmobile location surrounded by beautiful scenery and then whizzed through the snow for two whole hours, I still had no idea what to expect from the special place we were about to see. This is a really cool spot that I've managed to climb on top of. I am at three countries at once at the moment. I am in Norway. I am in Finland. And I'm also in Sweden. And I'm actually in two different time zones depending if I step here or here. In the winter, this is very accessible. As you can see, it's on top of snow, but in the summer, it's actually in the middle of a lake. One thing ticked off our bucket list, and it's now time to show you what a luxury boutique hotel in the Arctic looks like. Thank you. How do you pronounce this again? Gluggy. Gluggy. Yes. This is really Gluggy. And Gluggy is basically like warm grape juice without alcohol. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so relaxing. I mean, look. Fireplace, check. Cozy chairs that I don't want to get up from, check. Klegge? Glugge? Check. Ah! Oh my gosh, proper snowstorm. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, right. There is still one thing in this hotel that Andrea and I have not shown you, and that will allow me to take off another thing off of your bucket list. <laughs> Which is, where are we going? Having a nice sauna time! Outdoor sauna time! And I think someone wrote to me that they're gonna jump in the snow after about a week ago. <laughs> Someone did! How's it in there? Amazing! It's amazing, yeah? Oh, oh what? Oh. And look at the view! Oh. Now this is what I call a sauna experience. Wow! Look, okay, so imagine you're sitting here in the sauna and you look out and this is what you see. How incredible is that? Absolutely stunning. Is this the nicest sauna you've ever been in? Oh yeah, by far. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Go for it. You're a pro. People, if you want to contract Andrea for her sauna water pouring on rock services, leave a comment I'm all below. <laughs> Oh my god, she has done it! Oh my god! I can't believe you did it! <laughs> How did that feel? Go, 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 go back in, go back in! <laughs> oh, that was fabulous! Ladies and gentlemen, my hero. Woo! Woo! I think it's my turn, otherwise, it's just embarrassing. Three, two, one. The hotel even has its very own resident husky. Hey, oh, look at these paws. He's super, super friendly. That's 
So a lot of people have been asking me why dog sledding is not on my bucket list. And the truth is, not only am I not a huge fan of animal tourism when animals are forced to do something for humans to have fun, but I've also done some research on um, husky sledding and the way that some of these huskies are treated by some companies that operate in this area. And uh, I wasn't very impressed. I mean, to tell you the truth, it made me really, really sad. And that's not to say that all companies treat their huskies that way because that's not the case, but I just don't want to take the risk and potentially make a contribution to something that would hurt animals. So that's my reasoning, but this I'm all for giving cuddles like this. Look at him, look at him. From the warmth of the sauna and just before the sun sets, we have decided to venture back out into the cold to complete yet another activity for the day. This one was completely unplanned and it's not even on the bucket list, but I thought that while we're here, we might as well get the most of it and we might as well meet some locals. My name is Lars Aslaktornesis and welcome to the Family Reindeer Ranch. Look at how beautiful they are! They're gorgeous. I mean, for me it's amazing that they lose their antlers once a year yeah. and then they just regenerate to this beautiful, magnificent size and then you just find them on the ground. Is that how it works for you? Every year you just find dozens yeah. of antlers on the ground. Yeah. There are, yeah, you can imagine that there are lots and lots and lots of, lots of the antlers. Yeah. yeah. What do you do with them? Decoration, handcrafting, I got a bottle like opener that. of it. You yeah, do? Yeah, example. a bottle opener and then you've got the antlers to hold it. Yeah. That's so cool. Huh? And they're very good for back scratching for a <laughs> Back scratching. Yeah. You guys, top tips from a local. <laughs> back scratching with antlers. I realize I never actually did a proper outro for the reindeer feeding yesterday and that's because we just got really busy talking to the guy and it was a lot of fun because I felt like we were natural spectators in their habitat as opposed to the reindeers being forced to do something they don't necessarily want to do and that goes back to the whole animal tourism thing I mentioned earlier. I stayed up really late last night. I don't know if you can tell I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I was up until 3 a.m. waiting for the auroras but they never came. It was way too cloudy and unfortunately we didn't get to see them. But the next stop is going to be Norway. So that's the next vlog where I'll be showing you what it's like to stay in a glass igloo, which is another thing on your bucket list, as well as hopefully, hopefully seeing the auroras. I am praying to the aurora gods that they show up, that they make an appearance because that would be absolutely epic. If you're new to this channel and you want to participate in picking what bucket list activities I try in every destination I go to, make sure you subscribe to this channel and to my Instagram.